Hey YouTube family, it's Ange RNY here coming to you with my week four or one month post-op update. Um, I know my week four is on, uh, I was supposed to record on April 4th. Um, I'm recording it today on the 11th because the last week has just been totally up in the air, completely busy. I did my four week post-op appointment on my four week anniversary. Um, it was gone all day and was pretty tired by the time we got home, so wasn't, didn't record anything. I, I, I think I pretty well went home like within half an hour, hour after we get, or went to bed after we got home. Um, and then Thursday, uh, we were supposed to go back out on the road and that didn't happen because we ended up having some issues with the truck and whatnot. So, and the whole weekend was just a complete kerfuffle. So, yeah. Uh, so everything is what it is. And we're back out on the road now. We left Monday and it's my week five today, but I'm going to record this first, and then I'm going to record my week five for y'all. So, again, my, I'm Andrew and Y. Sorry for all the bounciness. We are in the transport. Um, no, I am not driving. My husband is right now, as you can see. Say hi, John. Hi, John. <laughs> okay, so anyways. Um... Uh, smart ass. <laughs> um, so, I had my surgery on March 7th, 2018 at Guelph General Hospital with Dr. Jules Futain Along. I was 316.4 pounds. Oh, sorry, my high weight was 343.6. My surgery weight was 316.4, and my current weight for week four was 294.4, for a total loss of 49.2, I believe. Um, now, it was my one month, I, I it was four weeks post-op, and my one month was on the seventh, but I did my measurements on my four weeks. So, um, I'm going to go over those with you. Um, I'm five foot seven, just so you all know. I don't, I don't know if I've said that before. Um, so anyways, uh, measurements. Um, my neck, when I first took my measurements, sorry, I'll say that first. Hold on. I have all my notes, so just bear with me. Uh oh, where is it? Where is it? Oh, there it is. My, me I, when I first did my measurements, I was 332 pounds, and it was on um, October October 13th. Was that when I did it? Really? Wow. Okay. I thought I'd done them closer to my surgery, but I guess I did not. So, I took my me first set of measurements on October 13th because I didn't know what was going to happen and I wanted to do it when I was still at a fairly high weight so that I would get a more accurate representation. So my neck was 18.5 that day and when I measured it last week it was 18 inches, so for a loss of um, half an inch. My arms, I did left bicep, right bicep, left forearm, and right forearm. So my left bicep was 17 inches to start at um, last week on the 4th. It was 16 inches for a loss of one. My right bicep was 17 inches as well. And last week I measured it at 16 inches for a loss of one. My left forearm was 13 inches. And... Um, last week, I measured it at 12.5 for a loss of a half an inch. My right forcep, forearm, the, was 13 inches. And I measured it last week at 12.5, again, for a loss of 0.5. My, 
my bust. Now, I did my bust in three areas. I did my bust right here, and I did it at the nipple line, and then I did the band. Now, I only because I'm unsure, I'm, I could have Googled it to get the proper area to measure, but I figured I'd do all three because you're gonna lose inches from everywhere. So, um, when I say bust, it's above the breast. Um, and then I'll say bust at the nipple line. <laughs> so, um, bust is 49 inches to start. Last week it was 47 for a loss of two inches. At the nipple line, it was 50.25 um, to start, and then 49 inches last week on the 4th for a loss of 1.25 inches. My band was 47. Um, last week I measured it at 45 for a loss of 2 inches, and again, sorry for all the shakiness. My natural waist was 52 inches. I measured it last week at 48 for a loss of 4 inches. My belly button was 50, um, sorry, I measured at my belly button um, as well, so that was 59 inches. Last week I measured it at 54 inches for a loss of 5 inches. My hips I measured, and now I did my hips around and around to um, the Mons area underneath the fupa because that's where your hips are, right? Uh, the fupa doesn't count into that, I don't think. So my hips were 60 inches to start, and last week I measured them at 53.5 for a loss of 6.5 inches. My thighs, my left were was 30 inches to start. Last week I measured it at 29 inches for a loss of one. My right thigh I measured at 32 to start. And last week I measured it at 28.75 for a loss of 3.25. Now I am a right-handed person, so I don't know if that's going to be the norm through the whole entire thing, but it is to be expected that the right side of my body would be slightly larger than my left. So, which is how I can account for that. Um, my calves, my left calf, I started at 20.75 and measured it last week at 19.75 for a total loss of one. My right, I measured at 21 inches. Last week, I measured it at 19.75 for a loss of 1.25. And then last week, I didn't do it to start, and I probably should have. It would have been nice to see, but I started it last week because I figured I should do it. I measured my ankles and I measured my wrists. Now, my ankles both were each 10.75 inches, and my wrists were both 7.5 inches. So it'll be interesting to see over time if I lose any um, width around on either of those. So I added everything up, all my losses, and overall, over my whole entire body, I lost 30.75 inches. I think that is freaking amazing. I can't believe it that it, it's it been that much so soon. Um, and it, I, I'm just completely astounded. Still completely astounded by everything. So, um, other than that, I had my four-week post-op appointment. It went great. Um, I moved over onto soft foods on the second instead of the fourth because I had switched the rest of my diet two days early. Um, everything's gone well. I find I can't eat broccoli. Um, over the weekend, we ended up ordering from this restaurant, and I think the chicken was really dry and the cauliflower wasn't completely cooked, but I think it was the chicken that made me sick. I ended up getting sick. Um, broccoli, I tried that because I made a stir fry and uh, on the Monday that I switched over to soft foods, and yeah, got sick. Um, so those are things I can't tolerate yet. I was able to eat 
um, tuna the one day, which is absolutely great because I've never really tolerated tuna since I was a baby. Um, yeah, the other day too, we ended up having um, Subway and I didn't have anything to eat. It was the day that we were coming back out on the road and we weren't in the truck yet. Um, and I didn't have anything to eat. So they didn't have any whole wheat, anything other than buns. And I didn't want to eat a bun. So I got a white wrap. I really didn't want to, and I didn't eat most of it. Um, but I did get it with egg salad and lettuce and Swiss cheese and a little bit of feta cheese on it. And it was probably about six inches. Um, I tore quite a few, quite a few bits of the, the wrap off so that I wasn't getting as much of it as possible. Um, because I really don't like eating white bread and white bread products. Um, because I do know the thing, the, the chemicals and stuff they do put the, in them. Um, and yeah, so, uh, I did eat it just because I did need something to eat and it went down great. I was able to eat the lettuce great. Um, they pretty much told us when we went for our four week appointment because it was a, a nutrition class. So a whole bunch of us was in it and everything that, um, you know, we could have any vegetables that we've already eaten cooked raw. Um, and if we don't tolerate them, then just wait a couple of weeks and try again and everything like that. So I did well with the lettuce, which makes me happy so I can have salad again. Yay. And yeah, so, um, they were happy with my incisions, even though they aren't completely healed yet. She did explain, well, my family doctor was concerned about the redness around the incisions because she didn't understand that that's the way they are when they are healing from post-op. And um, so she gave me this cream called Fusiden Cream to clear up the infection that she thought there was for me to find out two weeks later that the reason my incisions haven't healed is because I've been putting this cream on twice a day to clear up an infection that isn't really there because that's the way that they're supposed to look. So, um, they're a lot better looking today. A lot more closed. I'd show you, but they kind of are still, I don't, I don't know. They're kind of still gross. So I don't want, like they're not infected or like gross that way just they're still scabbed and stuff and just yeah <laughs> so everything's doing well I stopped putting the cream on they they've healed a lot more since it's only been a week and there's a very noticeable difference I'm very happy with it and yeah so anyways that is my four week slash one month post-op update. I will put some pictures at the end um, because I did take progress pictures. So I will put the original pictures that I did put and immediately following each original picture, I'll put the corresponding four week post-op pic with it. And uh, yeah, other than that, everybody take care. I will see you all in a few minutes when I do my week five. And then I will see you next week. Have a great day. Thanks, bye.